All right, did you read the title of the video before you're watching? Just to make sure uh, you saw the title. Car's not here, but it's pretty much bought now, um, finally. So I promise this will be the last video talking about the secret car until you actually see it, um, unless something happens and this falls through or something crazy happens. But today, I'm gonna put the deposit down the car, it's out of state, did all the financing. Um, they're actually just overnighting some last documents to sign, and then the car should ship out this week and get here. Um, before we talk about that, it's gonna just be a quick video talking about that. I don't wanna to waste too much time. Um, let me just give you a real quick update on the summer wheels and tires, well, just the summer wheels on the WRX after they're a Plasti Dip. So I'll cut to that right now. So here's a shot of the car um, out in the sun, and the wheels look pretty good, actually. I like how the color turned out. The car is very dirty, and the wheels are probably a little dirty, but here's how it looks. And here's a shot in the shade probably harder to see but still but two days ago we actually had tornado warnings in Cincinnati and I drove through a lot of that and there was just downpour of rain and hard winds and it looks like it's starting to maybe peel a little bit I don't know if you can see that or not at least on the camera but it is starting to peel some so I think I will have to redo these eventually but um, with the new car hopefully coming soon I'll get the new car and I'll take these wheels off and do it again and I actually let the wheels sit for about one week after I Plasti dipped them to make sure that they like set all the way. Um, but I still have this problem, so I'll probably have to redo them and add a lot more layers and thicker layers and thicker coats. So we'll redo that uh, when the new car comes and I can take these wheels off. All right, so we're back. And man, this has been a wild ride. This car, which is the secret car, so I'm super pumped I get to show you guys that, um, has been like five months in the making. I've been following it on cars.com and many websites for five months. The past two months, I've actively been looking to purchase, but so much has fallen through because there are so few of these cars. Um, as I've said before, I really like cars that no one has, um, that you never really see. And at least in Cincinnati, I never see this car. I don't think I've ever seen one in person except at an auto show um, of this trim, specifically this trim. So anyway, I was searching for the past five months. Um, let me show you right here. So basically, I want the sports trim of this car then within that trim, there's two sub there's two sub trims, I would say, okay? So right here is a screenshot of just the sports trim. This is how many there are in the whole nation. This is the whole nation search on cars.com. This is all there is. Now, this screenshot is when I go to the sub trim of the sports trim that I actually want. So you can see there's what, like 10, 15 cars in the entire nation, and I wanted a specific color as well. So I was basically limited to a couple cars to search for the past five months. And on top of that, not all of them are at the mileage I was looking for, around the mileage I was looking for, or the price. So it's been two months of calling many dealers. I worked with CarMax for a couple weeks. I've been working with tons of people. So much has fallen through. Finally, this one looks good to go. The paperwork's coming, and I should have it. Um, if this gives you any hint, you saw how many cars there are in the nation of this, in this trim, in the, in the sub-trim as well. Um, you saw the colors. It is a rear-wheel drive, coupe manual transmission um, and that is what I was limited to and that's why it's taking taken so long to find the right car and this one does look like a pretty good deal and it looks like a pretty good car overall um, based on Carfax Carfax and some other stuff um, that I'll get into in another video once I have the car so that's about it um, if you guys want to guess go guess for the car I think the car itself um, will probably debut in a picture on Instagram my Instagram before I make the video of it. Um, hopefully the car ships this week, I think it should. And then after that, it um, I don't know how long it will take. It's only a few hundred miles away, um, and then it should be here. So maybe in a week and a half, two weeks from this video is published, and hopefully I'll have it. And that video will obviously come out, I'm sure a day or two before, because I'll take a day or two to make that video. I'll probably post something on Instagram and you'll see it there. Um, I'm stoked. This car is, Man, I have stories to tell about buying this car buying process because there's so few and everything going on um, with the car. I'm stoked, I'm so stoked. It's it's so different than this car and it complements it so well because it's so different that I have two such different cars. It's I'm just stoked, I can't wait to talk about it with you guys. I'm done rambling, I'm heading to the gym right now. Um, just wanted to do a final update. And again, there won't be any more updates on this car until it's here, unless something falls through. Hopefully it shouldn't. I'm just waiting on the final documents to sign, but the deposit's down, they took it off their website, the dealer did, it's off of cars.com now, it's off of everything. So it's ready to go. I just gotta sign those final documents and they should ship it on over. 
So anyway, thanks for watching again. Stay tuned. Um, if you want to see a sneak peek before um, the car goes live on YouTube, it'll, I will post something on Instagram, I'm sure. Um, and I'm pumped to make so many videos about this car. Take it back to the tail of the dragon, just do tons of fun stuff, and I'm just excited. You can probably tell. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.